Hi everybody, welcome back to Prison Architect. Welcome back to SummerSlam. Uh, we are back once again uh, in SummerSlam. Uh, and we are currently working on a new block uh, for our medium security prisoners. Repurposing some of this area because it's a bit of a mess. Uh, it is time for people to wake up pretty soon on today. Day 40. You can believe that. This place has been going for 40 days. Not without incident, there have been a lot of incidents, uh, but uh, so far our bragging right is that uh, nobody's managed to escape. Uh, so that's pretty good. We're currently fucking around with automatic doors and it's so loud! This weather is terrible and it's so loud. So we're trying to stay zoomed out so that we don't have to mess around with audio levels too much because that is a real pain in the ass. Alright, we would like a concrete wall here and we would like to have a remote door. Uh, apparently this is how these work with the servos. I say apparently, I still have not read. Uh, like, I'm doing like a bit of a batch this morning because I'm liking where we're up to with this um, current playthrough and I can't get enough of it and I feel like playing it all the time. So here I am, not reading the wiki, trying things out and having a really good time. All right, remote door is going on. This is the door out to the maximum security yard and because that door has been taken off, I don't know if that's changed like this yard is now it doesn't seem to have so that's good look at all this shared area up here oh my god and all this as well should be medium security that's a bit of a mess and it's going to be sort of taken apart in a minute anyway excellent um so last time we also had a new <laughs> snitch turn up we've got three new guys turning up uh today as well so it could be that um they are also among them is a new snitch so it might be triple bunk beds for those guys. You never know. All right. We want to make sure that this is now connected to... It, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. It's the servo that connects up. Okay. It's still connected. Or is it not now? Okay. Yeah, it is. The servo connects. The remote door should open. What time is it now? It's 6 o'clock. So do we want this to be automatically open, like, at 6 o'clock? Did that work? It should be open now. Uh, but it hasn't opened this remote door either. So the gear is above the door. Uh, but it's still not working. And actually, this guy... Ha! <laughs> shit! He can't even get in now! He's got the keys and everything! I think we fucked that up. I think, I think it was fine the way it was. I think maybe the servo is just, like, not in the right place or something. What the hell? Alright. I'm reverting back to what we had. This fucking weather is terrible. Holy shit. What is this? It's like some sort of monsoon or something. Oh, no. Just the door, please. I just want the door. No. Not the whole thing. Oh, is it just going to take the whole thing? All right, fine. You know what? We're going to just take the whole thing, for Christ's sake. Jesus. All right, I've zoomed out again. It looks like maybe the rain is subsiding a little bit, but not quite. It is now shower time. It's day 40. Uh, we have our armed patrol guards in the shower uh, as well, which is suppressing all of these guys and preventing them from um, doing GVHs to each other uh, at this tender hour in the morning. Uh, we got a little bit of money as well. Uh, we might as well start getting some of this stuff in here. Like, uh, we need a couple of fridges for sure. Let's get a fridge here and here. We're gonna have, like, fridge alley in here. <laughs> Don't ask me why. We're just gonna do it. Uh, and we're also going to have uh, a sink or two. We're gonna go for something a little different this time. We're gonna have two sinks, possibly more. And what do we want? We wanted another cooker in here at least, right? And we're going to probably... Do you think that that's enough cooks for all of our kitchens now? I think it's probably okay. If we need to, we'll get more. Oh, finally, we can escape that fucking god-awful noise of the weather outside. Or did it just stop? No, it hasn't. Let's go back into this boat. <laughs> this is better. There. It doesn't even matter that it's raining outside now. Oh, look at this. Look. The phones are all being tapped. Did you see that? It went like red, red, red. Oh, that's so cool. What's happening here? Nobody can get in. These remote doors are awful. Holy crap. They're causing like a huge traffic jam. Okay, so the servos must be able to work on the jail doors. But maybe I just like didn't do them right? I don't know. Like does the whole thing need to be above it or just the gear part? I don't know. We're about to find out. 
because we're going to try something a little bit different. Wait, can I not remove this object now? What the hell? How come? I can't remove that door. Oh, it's because the box is in the way. You have to remove it there. Okay, I'm tripping out. It's like, you have to do it like this, right? But I can't quite do it. I have to move that box out of the way. Holy shit. I feel like I've created a massive problem. This guy is out in the yard during free time and there's no guarantee that he'll ever get back in because of this door situation. Remote doors will not open without a working servo attached. Okay. But you can open them manually, which is nice. Alright, so that's gone now. We should be able to... Can we not dismantle this door? <laughs> but what the hell? That's crazy. Does it just need to be per permanently open or something? Okay, where's the door servo then? Come on, door servo. You can do it. We're gonna figure this out. Uh, so it said that the gear needs to be above the door, right? So that should mean like that. I think. Oh, wait, no. Oh, it's closed. That's not right. Hang on a second. We want it to be... We want the, do the door servo to be above the door. So that's like that. It's what we had before. Well, that's what it says anyway. Oh, shit. Somebody's been let out early. Okay, perfect. Oh, my God. And we're at capacity here, too. We have a bit of money. We will install additional capacitors here. And um, we're interested in the intake that has possibly just arrived or is due to arrive in a minute. No, it's been and they've been processed already. I can't believe it. We may have a snitch out there that I don't know about. Let's see. Uh, if we go into intelligence and we go into informants, can we see somebody who's a snitch? This is a new guy, possibly. This is possibly a new guy as well. Uh, we have an instigator. We have a potential CI in Christopher Frost. Oh, fuck it. We'll get him. It looks like we lost an informant as well. Possibly somebody who was released early, I guess. Do we have anyone up here who's a snitch? I don't think so. No snitches? No snitches? No stitches. Possibly. We're not sure yet. Who's this guy? This guy is a... What the hell kind of name is that? Okay, let's get out of here and see. This guy is unknown reputation. And then we had another dude in here with unknown reputation as well. So our CIs are currently trying to figure them out. But I don't think we've had any snitches turn up in the intake today. So that's at least something, right? Perfect. All right. We need some small pipes to connect up to uh, the sinks as well. But it looks like the kitchens are now up and running. Which means that the canteen uh, will be up and running pretty soon as well. Uh, it's nice. Oh, look at this. We can fit them. We can really cram them all in up here as well. Oh, finally, the weather. Jesus Christ, that weather was just the fucking pits, wasn't it? Holy Lord. All right. We're going to cram them all in at the top here. Uh, so that they can have some nice pool tables and other shit to do in the rest of the canteen. Because I like that. Uh, that's like one of... This is like the best, isn't it? We're going to get like two pool tables in here we're gonna install some sofas for them to sit down on and stuff as well like here and here uh we're also going to do a tv facing down here and then a tv facing up there for them as well so they can sit on the sofas and and do that uh let's get some phone booths in here as well for these guys we're gonna get them right here so that shit we're out of money <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was not paying attention to the money situation, and uh, we have once again run out of money. Alright, how are we doing for deployments? We have a uh, guard in the classroom, we have a guard in visitation, uh, we have a guard deployed up in this canteen, uh, which is probably a good thing. I'm gonna deploy one in there as well. I think we should probably have a guard deployed in this canteen too, just for good measure. We have a couple of guards deployed in these hallways, which is good. And then we also have a guard deployed in this workshop. We're going to have to get some guards on patrol uh, in here as well. So we'll have him come down at least to here, these new cells. Uh, which leaves us with no guards. Uh, everybody is currently assigned to something inside SummerSlam right now. Um, and of course, this fucking door is just causing massive amounts of problems. Like... Can I just dismantle it from here? No. Can I dump it? Oh, okay. You can dump it. Perfect. Okay. We'll leave that there, though. This remote door is 
has become such a problem and hopefully we'll be able to dump it and never think about it again and never touch remote doors again this one on the other hand uh this door servo i mean what the fuck clear connections open trigger open on trigger and close on trigger connect this is definitely connected up to here on the door timer okay so what the heck is going on then it's definitely in the right place right Oh my lord. Just go. Jeez. Unbelievable. All right. We have a bit more money uh, now, so we can at least get some bookshelves. We're going to get some bookshelves in here as well, along with the phones. So if these guys want to, like, do some uh, nice reading and stuff, that's good too. And of course, uh, no canteen is complete without prayer mats facing the wall so that they don't interrupt anyone else uh, doing the things that they love to do in the canteen. And you know what? Why not? We'll get a couple of weight benches in here too for these guys so that they can lift some weights and feel good about themselves because that's what we're all about in SummerSlam. We're all about promoting um, good food, good health, and good fun at all times for our prisoners who live in otherwise very depressing circumstances, okay? Nobody wants to go to jail, that's for sure. And um, least of all in a place called SummerSlam, uh, which is of course named after something. Okay, so it has to be here. Or maybe it's just like on this side that it needs to be instead. Maybe it like has to push it open instead of pull it. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, let's dismantle this one. Uh, and we'll cook that other one up and try that instead. See if it works. Um, this guy's really struggling. Poor guy, all by himself, lifting a gigantic couch. I don't know if you've ever had to do that yourself in real life before, but it's quite the task. Is this thing still not dumped for real? Oh, finally. He's, d he's finally getting rid of this thing. Holy crap. Oh, at last. Oh, it happens. Okay, let's never build one of those again unless it's for Swordsby's cell. Oh, shit. Okay, when Swordsby gets his own cell, which is going to happen at some point for sure, um, you can bet your Johnson that um, he's going to have one of those remote doors on because there's no need for him to ever come out of his cell, basically. Um, except for, you know, when um, we have to give him some food or whatever. But hopefully the remote doors have one of those, like, tray things that you open up and you can just like slide the um, the food under. That'd be good. More guards? <laughs> We're gonna need them. <laughs> we got a lot of guards doing a lot of stuff in here. They're on patrol routes and everything. Do we have any guard patrols that we don't need? Oh my God. Okay, that's a dog patrol. The dog patrols need to be redone, I think. Um, I'm not sure that we need this one anymore, actually. So let's get rid of it. Perfect. That frees up uh, one more guard. I'm not sure that we really realistically need this one anymore either. So let's get rid of it. We want those ones in the cells for sure. Uh, these ones probably need... We're not going to get any visibility here. We do not need a guard patrolling here though. Because uh, we got this dude in the shower. Uh, we got a doggy patrol there. This one does not need to go into the storage area or indeed into the exports area. We just want it like out here. Um, and then these ones that go around here. So this does not need to happen at all anymore, I don't think. Let's get rid of that. Um, we'll go into dog patrols and we'll fix this one up slightly so that it's not... There we go. Look like this. Like that. Okay, we'll keep these guys on the dog patrol. Uh, so there's two dogs on patrol there, and there's one on patrol here, uh, which actually should be more like this. Okay. And what is going on with that dog patrol? I don't... I, I'm not... I'm, I'm not too sure why this is... Oh, okay. I see. It's in one spot. Okay. So that frees up a new spot for a dog patrol, right? So I'm thinking that maybe we could have a dog patrol, like, in here. Dog patrol, dude. Do, 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 do. Dog patrol! Nice. Okay. Uh, great. So now we have 10 guards sitting around uh, doing nothing, which is a good thing, I guess, for now. And then we have uh, all of our deployments working uh, as planned. This is a big kitchen. There's a lot of uh, space for um, 
food and stuff in here. I'm thinking that maybe we hire just two more cooks, okay? Just two more, just to cover everything off. Looks like everybody is enjoying some yard time now. Oh yeah, we wanted to try this door servo to see if pushing it open actually works. So we're gonna have to connect this bad boy up. Uh, let's connect it up to this door here. Did it push it open? It did not push it open. Um, they should be open now as well, uh, but it doesn't appear to be open. These ones are being currently held open, of course, by the massive volume of prisoners going through them. So let's see if it stays open after the fact. No, okay, that has not worked. So open on trigger and close on trigger. But it's, the gear is definitely above the door, but it's not working. What the fuck? All right, well, I am definitely going to have to consult the wiki for that because that is clearly not working. Uh, and I don't understand why. We're going to put this large jail door back here because uh, it belongs there. It needs to be there. Uh, and next time uh, I have a break in between episodes, I'll check the wiki and uh, see how these work because I'm sure that that should work. It's connected up and everything. I mean, unless I need to actually connect it to the door. No, no, that doesn't seem to make any difference. Um, follow dismantle dump, connect, clear connections, open on trigger, close on trigger, open on trigger. Who knows? Anyway, luckily we have a lot of guards letting people in when they need to be let in. Is it? It's day four. It's almost the end of day 40. Nobody's died today. And in fact, I think actually we've done a pretty good job at keeping more or less everybody suppressed today as well, which is insane. All right. Let us uh, build some walls here and let us demolish some of these walls here that don't need to be here anymore. We have some objects that need to be removed as well uh, in the form of some of these prison doors here. And it looks like this guy is just taking a bit of a dump before he goes back to his cell, I'm assuming, uh, for sleepy time. <laughs> nice. Why not? you got to respect a guy who has the balls to do that. It's really something else. Okay. For our midnight maintenance tonight, we will be um, redoing this shower room uh, entirely. It's got to be done because it is a mess. Holy crap. It's really bad. Uh, we're going to fix that guard patrol and stuff as well. We're going to reclaim all this stuff. We're going to knock down these walls in here as well. Because these do not need to be here. And we're going to knock down these ones too. And we're going to finally, hopefully, get to a point where, by, uh, this is going to be a hallway. Uh, as it was meant to be. Or how I would like it to be anyway. Um, and instead, this will still be hallway too. And then we'll force everybody to come into the shower room from here instead. I think that'll be the best. Uh, are these walls set to be demolished as well? Not quite. And then we don't want this shower room to be here. Perfect. Oh my god. This guy's got a drill on him. Uh, he better be going to solitary. Jesus. We have a bit of solitary here. Oh yeah, how are we doing in terms of... Okay, yes. Okay, so those solitary cells are in place. That's perfect. Um, medium security solitary is almost full over here, so we could do with spending a bit of money on getting this solitary stuff set up. Uh, so if I go into quick build and I sort of just do some more of these, a couple more, just need a few. See, it's nice because it doubles up, it builds the walls for the other one, for the other side as well, right? Which is something that we def definitely need. So, I've run out of money. <laughs> Building cells. Fuck me. Man, our cash flow in this place is crazy. I guess that's what happens when you build something uh, without thinking about it. Only to then get to the point where you're like, hang on a second. Maybe I should have built that a little bit better. Um, and then, of course, you go about trying to build it better, but you have no money to do so. Which is the worst. Luckily, though, we have a huge storage area where all of these like things that we've saved uh, go into. And then we can just reuse them. So really... All that we're spending money on now is like new walls and pipes and electrics and stuff like that. Like all the shower heads and drains and everything, we have enough of that stuff left over. So we should be fine. Um, we are making money off exports. Uh, we are chopping down trees and I think we're making furniture and I think we're exporting license plates. I'm not sure how much we're actually making a day off of it, but look at, for instance, we have six license plates just sitting here worth 60 bucks, which is pretty good. And I think we can just like sell those 
any time pretty much like i think if i just go yeah perfect i just sold 60 bucks worth of license plates just like that that makes me feel pretty good actually hey look at this guy's actually in solitary it's lars hakon he's 40 years old his needs vary wildly uh from just about everything i mean lars it literally is in need of just about everything at this present uh, point in time, which is kind of nuts. So what the fuck is getting tased at this time of night? Somebody like smashing up their cell or whatever? Oh, is it up here? Oh yeah, he was smashing up his cell. What the hell? You're gonna do it now too? Hygiene? Mark Thompson, what the hell? You're 62 years old. You should be first in line to get a shower. Like, 60-year-olds love that kind of stuff. They love, like, the routine and stuff, don't they? Another tase has just happened. I'm not sure who or where or why, but for some reason, tonight... Oh, look. This guy in here. It's Matt Chislet Trim decided to shit up his toilet, damage it 80%, um, and... For some reason, he's attacked staff, he's performed destruction, and he's caused a massive flood. Look at this guy, too. Alright, fine. Fucking, how about 24 hours in solitary, asshole? And you know what? How about you can go up to maximum security as well, you asshole? Look at this fucking guy. Look at this, look at this patrol that's happening right here right now. Fucking go get him. What are you doing? You can hear it happening. Taze his ass. That's right. He's got water there, too. Could have killed him. All right, he's volatile. You know what? Fucking volatile. He's maximum security now as well. Jesus. We do not need to be putting up with that level of bullshit in our pristine medium security wing. Holy crap. What a night. What the hell? The night of day 40 was, was just insane for some reason. I don't even get it. So now this hallway is taking shape, uh, and we have the extra capacity down here for solitary for medium security um we can probably fully transform it into um, a hallway and then connect it up to like this new wing down here for like the protective custody uh, and then we can expand this out too we have five uh new prisoners arriving in five hours time one of them could be a snitch that we'll need to look at protecting i don't know what the benefits of having guys in protective custody are though like if anything at all it's like seems kind of he's a strong snitch okay uh we have another potential ci here um this guy is a games programmer and database software developer it's connor the hacker wait <laughs> it's okay let's recruit him he's got 22 percent coverage look at this guy though patrick swayze's indian brother is like the best look at that he's got 57 percent coverage uh and he's like just sort of minding his own business who's this guy who's extremely deadly oh my god it's not Soresby. what do they say about Soresby? is he even in solitary right now he doesn't appear to be for once in his goddamn life unbelievable uh this guy is the driller killer he's deadly quick apparently oh he's a skilled fighter okay i don't even need to look i know exactly what he looks like how worrying is that jesus christ all right, well, there we go. Um, we will, uh, with some money next time, uh, finish off uh, the shower area. The midnight maintenance did not go to plan at all, once again. These guys are gonna wake up and they're gonna have to make a long ass trek over to this other block to take their shower because we were just not prepared for this. Unless um, we just go nuts and say, let's just get this huge shower room outfitted here. Uh, I might have just enough money to build some walls here but not quite enough i mean we know that roughly we would like walls to here okay and then we want to put a million shower heads because we ha actually have a million in storage <laughs> and look we want to sort of like follow suit with <laughs> we'll have toilets and showers in here okay look it's gonna be really nice trust me when i say this uh, so we want to have two toilets in between, two toilets in between, and that. Okay, perfect. Let's get the drains in as well. We're going to need these for sure. And then it's just a case of hooking it up to water, uh, which is going to, of course, cost money as well. Uh, and we don't really have that much money. This is a really big shower room, actually. Okay, 
Uh, and definitely what we would like to do is we want this armed guard patrol to uh, happen with this instead. He's going to suppress the shit out of these guys morning when they're having their shower. And if we have any spare toilets, which we appear to have, great. We have seven of the bastards. Uh, and we need eight, of course. We're going to have to spend some money on a new toilet. Perfect. Uh, we might be able to do this with some with any luck. Of course, the pipes are not in the right place for this to occur. Uh, we need a, a combination of cold water and hot water. Uh, so we'll see if we can do that. Can we get the hot water? Might be able to do this. Uh, it's not costing that much for the pipes, turns out. And uh, actually, we were pretty lucky. There's pipes running up here all along anyway. So we might be able to pull this off. Look at this. I think we even have enough for the last little bits of wall. Holy crap. Oh, look at these guys are going to have their shower in the morning after all. Crisis averted. What did you find, boy? Is there a tunnel up here somewhere? You just like have a little sniff around? And sniff the tree? Mark your territory? No? Did you find anything? Have a little sniff? No? Okay, fine. Normally when I see one of those now though, I just feel like doing a shakedown straight away. And actually, I don't think that that's such a bad policy. I think that's probably a pretty good thing to do. Uh, do we want to keep these guys contained in here now? Uh, I don't know if it's necessary, but let's do it anyway. Um, yeah, maybe having a little bit more control over them getting into like these shared areas is, is a good thing, right? We'll set them to normal for now. We have plenty of guards around here that can open the doors and stuff anyway, so it should be fine. Uh, and we should be ready for day 41 at this rate uh, for everybody to wake up uh, in a couple of minutes time uh, and try out their new shower, which is still kind of a work in progress, but is uh, slowly getting there and uh, should be pretty good once it's actually done. Um, and then what we do with this space in here, I don't know. Uh, we'll probably put some, maybe some more dorms or just some more cells or something, I guess. But it's a little bit better than it was. There were just so many, like, weird little hallways and stuff before that weren't the best. We'll tidy this whole area up as well. And then we'll start gutting some of these and moving them into the new block or whatever. And it should be fine. What a mess. Look at that. Somebody just did, like, a gigantic barf in that solitary cell. <laughs> Maybe it's like the pressure. Oh, look at this. Oh my god, people are actually able to have a shower in medium security. And look, most of them are just so used to not having a shower that they're not even bothering. Look, this is crazy. I can't believe it. All right, we're going to go for uh, some additional shower heads in here because I think they're kind of needed. Um, because it turns out that there are a lot of these dudes. Uh, and I might have underestimated the actual amount of them. Uh, but there are toilets in here that are being used by people as well, which is pretty good. Uh, and everybody is sort of congregating around the armed guard who is getting immediately overwhelmed. And I'm pretty sure that they'll get his shotgun off him and start a riot and stuff. But uh, we'll hope that that doesn't happen and, uh, and live to fight on for another day. We're in the hole money-wise now as well. We really should try to get some um, grants finished off. But, you know, passing the general education course is not the best. And possibly there aren't that many other grants to do. We get an advanced payment for cell block D. Uh, we might as well take it, actually. Uh, this is to up our capacity to 200. So we'll take the money and we'll use it to, um, you know, finish off this other wing and do some other shit as well. Perfect. All right. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.